is Deanna Hyde Look Up God Company. Uh, that's Oliver. He's one of my one of my six four legged children. He's in here helping me today. Oliver, you sleepy? Okay, y'all saw Oliver there. Him is napping in his on his little box. It's just a cardboard box that I used to keep a bunch of of um vocal beads in and stuff and uh because it's compartmentalized my friend found it at the garage sale he's decided that's his napping spot in here when he comes in okay i'm gonna make a quick earring i've already done the other one of course it took me forever i went through lots of combinations to get what i wanted lots of color not a whole bunch of colors, but a couple different color combinations. I'm trying to get something I liked. So, we're going to put, it's just not really a tutorial. I'm just, I mean, I don't really label anything a tutorial. I don't feel like I'm teaching very well, but. <sighs> just haven't been doing it long enough. Anyway, I'm using these melons again. Um, that I used in the last one or one before that. I don't remember. <clears throat> make this and take some pictures, go make dinner, and then post things on YouTube and the internet or Facebook and Macari, things like that. So I need to sell some stuff and I'm trying. Okay, these are. They're kind of all in the same color palette, but they're blingy, but not like over the top blingy. And that's really because of this one and this one. I don't know if you can see them, but oops, the wrong way. That's a lava bean that's been coated in some shiny, um, I don't know if that's an AB finish, but it's got different colors within that coat paint that they used and this little copper spacer bead so let's see how do I have it because I I had it one way and I didn't like it I'm like oh it looks off so I flipped everything around it's much better flipped everything and moved one <clears throat> so we're just using those Spacer beads and carn. Oh, uh, yeah, I forget what color this. They're almost a carnelian color back home. A little spacer bead. Oh, not a spacer. I'm sorry. That is a little bead cap. And then another bead cap. And you can layer bead caps. You don't have to use just one. You can layer them. You can. You can do this, put them back to back, where it makes a completely different look, or layer them, which I did this one, I layered, like that, and then my melon bead, I'm telling you, this is going to be quick, the only thing will be fighting my ear wire a another bead cap and you don't have to use the same bead cap on each end you can change it up this makes them look almost like a lantern um and then this is just a wavy spacer bead and then i have another spacer bead that's i think this came in one of the bargain bead boxes and then, oh, wait, 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 I'm out of order. My lava bead, my shiny lava bead. And then my little spacer bead. There we go. And then I get my one step looper. Although I probably could try to do it with my pliers, but I'm not gonna. Okay, get your one-step looper. Oh, 
and it's hard to hold on to if you're not using an eye pen because eye pen gives you something to hold on to And I am kind of close to that, but that's a metal bead on top, so I'm not worried about it cracking. And I'm also, you know, you go slow, be careful. Then find my round nose pliers, wherever they went, and kind of straighten it up. It gets a little wonky, and it doesn't close all the way either. Flatten those pliers. I know that's a bad shadow. My, I don't know if you can see it, but it's just not closed up. So, I have to get it closed. So, I gotta get it straight, too. Me? Okay. Quit rotating on me. working some of these head pins I've said this before some of these head pins are just terrible they're hard to deal with and we get our ear wire which is already open because I had to take it apart I didn't like how it was the first time. And now, close our ear wire back. And you do this like a jump ring. You just kind of walk it closed. And there's our earrings. Melons. I think I got these at Hobby Lobby or Michaels. I don't remember. I've had them for a while. But a lot of people on Facebook were asking. But I really don't remember. Alright, y'all. Pray for us in our money situation. He applied for the Walmart Distribution Center here. I think he applied for Dollar General. I'm not sure. But uh, the Distribution Center. I applied for another home work from home job. It's probably temporary, but for a while. I don't know how temporary it will be. But it's uh, case tracing or tracer for the what's making everybody sick now. You have to do the tracing of who had it, who were you in contact with, blah, 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 blah contact tracing so we'll see maybe I'll get that one because I can do that I have a medical background so it's not required but it helps to have it all right y'all just pray for us see you later